at the end of this video we will have our foam work plan from our foundation plan and the key things we cover are the slab direction denotations and finally dimensions let's get to work in the last tutorial we came up with our foundation plan in this tutorial we are going to do the foam work plan and the first thing we have to do is we have to navigate to our ground and first story and um, definitely every wall is being carried by a beam and um, we have just two walls that are different between the ground floor and the first floor so we are just going to copy the two walls and these are the two walls that are different from the first story we are going to copy it to our foundation plan and um, the next thing we have to do is we have to get rid of all the footings in the foundation plan because we don't need it again so you can either select and delete or you select similar and delete all After selecting similar and deleting or you extend the beams, the, new, the beam of the toilet that has been added, which differs from the one of the first story, you click on the extend command up here and um, we just extend the beam down. And we have something like this. So every wall has a beam, which is very important for the walls to carry the beam and every beam sockets on a pillar doing that we have all our beams and our pillars all set up for the first story and uh, things we have to take note here is um, we have to change our beam section the beam for first story will be 15 by 40 so i'm just going to edit after editing all our beams to 15 by 40 the next thing we want to look at is to arrange the slabs so now um on slabs we have uh we are going to use one way slab for this building and it'll be hollow block decking and um, we are going to use the shortest span between any room for example this room is three meters by four meters so the shortest span will be along the three meters span so our slab is going to carry along the three meters span so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to denote the slab arrow and um, it will look like this so this is how a slab will look like showing that the slab is carrying on a three meter side and um, i'll just do for this other room for this other room we have our slab going this way so i'm just going to copy the direction of the slab and um, carry it straight into the room and put it anywhere and um, since it's not carrying towards the three meter 85 we are going to put it towards the three meters so i'm just going to rotate the slab and it's going to be something like this so the slab is carried carrying along this the shorter span so we are going to do that for all the building and we have our slabs all set up and that is our foam work plan so we just have to adjust it and go with it to the layout tab and print it out so we have our slabs well set in the next tutorial we are going to be importing our foam work plan into autodex robot and um, carrying out the structural analysis of this building so stay tuned